Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm gonna show you how to set up a Neoforge Minecraft Java server. So let's get started. The first thing to do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you're interested but all you need to do here is simply go to your search bar and type in Neoforge like so. Once you do this you should see a website called neoforge.net. Simply click on the link and this will bring you to the homepage for the website. So, here is the latest Minecraft version for Neoforge, so Minecraft 1.4.4. And if you have any other older version that you want, just do full older versions, click here, and this will bring you to this list here, where you can just select your Minecraft version. So, that's how we do this. So, I will just use this page to download Neoforge. Here we can see that we have Minecraft version, the latest one, and this will automatically put you to the correct Neoforge version here. Just click the install button or the download button. And this will just give you Neoforge beta installer. This is the same one as we had on the main page. Once you have the installer that you want for the Minecraft version that you want, you might not be able to run the .jar file here because you might not have Java for Windows. So what you want to do is simply go to a new tab and you only need to do this if you don't have Java. But to get Java, simply type in JDK23. And you should see a website like this here, so right here. And once you see this website, simply click it. I will have this thing directly in the download folder. And once you click to accept all, simply scroll down to JDK23, then select Windows, and download the x64 installer. It will be right here. And yeah, that's how you get Java for Windows if you cannot run the installer for Neoforge. If you have everything sorted out here, you can just close your web browser and what we can do here is simply right click on a location. When I say a location, it can be a documents folder, it can be a music folder, it doesn't matter. It, you just need to have a folder for your Minecraft server to keep everything nice and tidy. So here we see that we can do new and folder and here I'm just going to call it Neoforge server like so. And you can name it anything you want but just to keep it nice and simple, Neoforge server. And what you can do is simply double click the folder icon, go to downloads, select and copy the Neoforge beta installer or the installer depending on what version you chose. Go to the top left arrow and click paste. Depending on your downloads location, you might have different arrows to click, whatever. But here, all you need to have is a new folder and your installer. Once you have this, simply double click the installer and this will be new with this. All you need to do here is simply click install server and this will give you this directory here. Simply click the three dots, click desktop in my case, click the new folder and select. This is why you need to have a new folder because of us it might go everywhere. So just do this and it will bring you here. Now all you want to do is just click proceed and it will just download all the required folders for them. So that could take a little while, so let's just wait for that. Okay, so once we have everything sorted out, just do OK and this will close everything. And what you want to do now is simply delete the installer. So this is all you want basically. And what you want to do here is simply click run.bat. And it will just say that you need to agree to the EULA, so simply enter. And here you should have EULA.txt. So simply double click that and change EULA to true. Simply hit true in there and close. And once you saved, you see it will say true and you can just click run.bat again. And this will just load up the rest. So here we have our Minecraft server and what we can do, we can now open up our Minecraft launcher to open up the correct version to try out our server. So I did you a tutorial on how to port forward if you want other people from other networks to join your server. But in this case, we will just test out the server. So we know it is 1.0.4, so just do play. And here we have our little Minecraft server. So this is the console. And these are all the files and folders for it. 
So once we go to the Minecraft application here, we can make this a bit bigger, go to multiplayer, go to add server, and you simply want to click in server address, you want to put Devo, 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 Devo. Now this works only if you're using the same computer as hosting. If you're using another computer in the same network, you will have to put a specific IP for that computer here. But here, as we're doing it on the same computer, we just do this, done, and we have a Minecraft server here. So simply click play, and we're currently playing on a NeoForge Minecraft server. So if we do F3, we can see that here it is NeoForge server, so we know that works, amazing. And if we leave text, there you go. We can go to our little console, and it says players, and in here, and it says I joined here. So yeah, that's how we get a NeoForge Minecraft server set up. So yeah. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you for the next one. Bye!